Boy, I've got a doozy here. I'm out uh, doing my TSI in this uh, big tree planting project of ours. Yeah, let me get it from out from in front of the camera. Man, I hate honey locusts. This thing, of course, honey locust is a volunteer. And look at the size of that crown on that thing. That's what we call a wolf tree. Comes in and just absolutely takes over a spot. And it had choked out a really nice pecan. I uh, cut everything from around that pecan, whacked it off at the ground so it could come back up straight. I hope it can find its way up there in the next couple of years. You have to wait about five years to know. But anyway, this uh, this tree, you can see all the limbs tangled up. It's got limbs, it's got bush honeysuckle in it, it's got vines, and just thorny as can be. Oh my gosh. Uh, you can take a look here. See that? You can see these limbs are just all over the place, just full of thorns. You couldn't get to that tree. And, and of course, and then the center looked like it could be rotten. It looks like it uh, must have been struck by lightning. We haven't had a fire out here, so that must be a lightning strike that did that. And so that's something you put in the equation. And of course, it was weighted. Uh, it was weighted the wrong way for me But I had a nice hole there where I'd cut out some elms So I aimed it to that uh, Put a face in it Bored through it. Let me see if I can get in here without getting stabbed by a thorn They are ever there's thorns down in there. You wouldn't believe the thorns So I punched through it Let's move these. This, you can see the wedges. That's how I, I set that wedge first. And then set those. Let's see if I can clean this off. There we go. Anyway, so I made my face board through right here for the hinge. You can see you can see where I board through it. And from there, I came back. Uh, I came back to here. Stopped. I stuck a wedge in here for safety. And then I came over here. I cut this out right here. You see, I had to cut to right here. Stuck a wedge in here. That was going to be my primary wedge for pushing it over. After I had it tight. And I finished cutting out this back strap over here, so the back strap was right here. Cut that out, stuck another wedge in, and uh, I drove those two wedges until I could feel them lightening up. Pounded this one, pounded that one in hard to free it, free that uh, other one, and then I crossed them and drove it over. And I could feel it going over the center. And man, I'm glad to have that down, but my gosh, you look at the thorns in there. I hate these things. And deer spread them. Deer love the taste of those uh, seed pods. They eat the seed pods and then the seeds go through their gut and get, uh, get scarified and every one of them lands in a pile of manure and they come up. <laughs> so that's why you'll see um, honey locusts take over in a cattle pasture if you don't if you don't get out there and spray them every time you see one they'll take over if a, if cows can get to those seed pods they'll eat those and scatter them all over their pasture and you'll see uh, old farmsteads growing up in thorn trees anyway anyway I spent enough time on this to cut down a dozen trees like I'm normally doing but I'm glad to have this down and I'm going to take a drink of water here and continue my walk with my chainsaw. I'm out here on the south end of it, and on the south end we got a lot of sun shining in. And we got a lot of eastern red cedar in here. It makes a good trainer, but we also got a lot of autumn olive along this edge. I've been whacking the ones in my way as I walk. But uh, really it's going to take herbicide. You, can, you cut them down, they just pop back. There's, see, there's one right there. You cut them down they pop back when I cut them if I need to walk through a place 
And what have we got here? What kind of tree is that one? That looks like a that looks like a shingle oak there. Top of it's messed up from being under that that uh, that thorn tree. So anyway, a lot of mulberries down here on this end too. Birds carry those in. That's a mulberry. Looking at that, I don't see anything good around it. So I don't need to whack that. Yeah, it's a wildlife tree. It's not a good crop tree for lumber, but it's, it's a good wildlife tree. And if it's not interfering with a possible crop tree, you don't need to waste your time cutting it. And I think I see an oak stamp bat just past it. So I'll go over and check that out. Thank you again very much for visiting. And I'm going to put my camera away and get back to work.